Am I excited for the uh, Elden Ring DLC? Oh, big time. Yeah, in fact, there's a uh, an ER DLC. Oh. Um, yeah, there's a thing there. Oh my god. Uh, elemental resist. Okay. Don't need you. Don't need you. What are we doing on poison? Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Perf Our poison resist is perfect. We do need that. And we do want that. Okay. We need physical. Nope. Elemental, sure. Great. A little more fire. Necrotic, okay. Get necrotic up. Five health on kill. Increased void damage. Increased physical damage, I guess. 11 lightning resist. Ooh, and five Ellie resist. Can I fit this somehow? Okay. Great. So we've capped another resistance. The only resists we need now are necrotic and fire. And we and we need a new belt pretty badly, so that could potentially be that. What is this thing? Primalist body armor that looks amazing. 40% chance to shock with lightning skills and spell damage leached while channeling. That seems awesome. I need some of those for Void Knight. Alright, let's go. Is this actually going to save now? Because it hasn't like five times before. I want that. Just please save. Oh. Uh, maybe it did save. Okay. That looks a little bit better. Don't sleep on armor. I'll sleep on your armor. What about that? Didn't see that coming, did you? Wait, Barry, what happened? Are we good? All right, let's go ahead and sell. Can I help you? Um, I'm going to keep the idols. Home. The idols I can use. We'll sell the big idols I can't use. Can I help you? Can I help you? Is that fruit behind you? Take one of the fruit. Thanks. The fruit goes down with ease, but you're still hungry. Damn. Oh, that's it? Help you? Okay. Damn. Let's go ahead and do that. Move. Stay safe, traveler. Hey, lion. What's up, buddy? Ah, yes. May I tear a smile upon Return you? to the Shining Cove. Oh, we need to go. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Before we do this, now that we can actually fast travel. Uh, let's go to here. We gotta go to the Great College. Knock that quest out. <laughs> Hey, Gaming Gumper, how you doing this morning, brother? Yeah. 
Okay. Boop, boop, Daedalus! Thank you for your four months, bud. Up there. Hi. Present the officer's crest. Okay. Nope. Not doing that. Any testicles? No. Alright, let's keep moving. Doing great, Coast. Sorry about the setback in Pacific Drive. Oh, nothing to be sorry about. I played Pacific Drive last night. We did a farming run and then beat the mission. So when we play again today, uh, we'll be all caught up and ready to progress. Hey, kill the Reapers. Give it away a coalition mouse pad. Thank you, man. Good luck, everybody. Quick reminder, if you are the winner of the mouse pad, uh, you need to click the redeem link and claim the prize. Yeah, good luck, everybody. It's a really nice mouse pad. Hmm. Boom. The new soul extractors have proven effective. Oh, soul extractors. That's what I use on my mod team. You cannot let their souls go to waste. Oh, that's different from my mod team. Okay. Right. Hey, XX Mr. Red Rum, congrats on your win. Thank you again to Kill the Reaper. We appreciate it. Man, those are two metal names. My lord. Uh, okay, let's go to Outcast Camp first. How's controller feel in this game? Really good for gameplay. Not so good for other stuff, but um, yeah, it feels great for gameplay. I feel like it still has some work to do in menus and such though. So I kind of bounce between keyboard and mouse. What do you want? Great. Gotta get that passive point. Uh, let's get our health up more health up and of course we want to just make those resists mm. super capped that way we can have more freedom with other crafting later <coughs> Excuse me. what do you want well said all right now we'll go back to das cove have you tried using the ps5 pro controller you have yet not yet no not yet It works on PC, doesn't it? Maybe I should try it on my PC. Ooh, great. Oh, wow. We haven't seen one of these for a while. Uh... Where do I want to go with this one? We keep getting the damage up. Get more health leech. Mm. Hey, Jake from DM has given away two coffee mugs. Awesome, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's do this one to keep the stun chance going up. Because that stun chance actually is a, is a pretty big deal on some bosses. We've, like, almost stun locked some bosses in the past. how far we can ride that gravy train. Ooh.
<laughs> my, sorry, my housekeeper's messaging me back. If you know, you know. Okay. All right. And if you don't, that's for the better, for the record. All right, let's see what this is. Uh, here we're working towards... Oh. Here we need to decide, I think. So I don't think I want this using... Oh, I think we were, we were going to work towards Void Pyre, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then get Regicide. Okay, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Okay, I got a question here. This is the third skill I've gotten with Kill Threshold. This doesn't stack, does it? We've got Kill Threshold here. We've got kill threshold here it always takes the highest okay huh not super feeling that okay let's go yeah I have like three different kill threshold stuff so I'm definitely wasting some things right now Doing that. <laughs> I need to destroy more boxes in this game. Sometimes they drop such good stuff. Price sell with the 42 months. Thank you, buddy. And love the Kovatar, dude. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Great way to start the day lurking to code, winning a mug. Congrats, dude. Hell yeah, merry times in the one Robin. Congrats to both of you guys. Enjoy the mud. Nice one. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking out of one right now, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got mugged in Ko's chat? He did. He got mugged here. It happens. This is a pretty, uh, you know... You're susceptible to mugging in this chat room. Just be aware. Rude lair back and forth, I see. Shwink, 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 shwink. Great. Do the giveaways ship to Europe? The giveaways ship to Europe if you win a giveaway from the store and you have to pay any custom or import fees you pay those fees. You contact me privately. You show me the receipt and I send you that money. So if you win a merch giveaway in this channel, you will get the item for free eventually. <laughs> but you do have to upfront pay the import fee and then I will pay that back to you. Yeah, unfortunately I can't prepay that stuff because we never know how much it is, but yeah. So just a heads up, if you win a giveaway, you will receive that item for net zero. <laughs> yeah. Wow, 
6,000 hit? Seriously? You love to see it, man. Beautiful. Sapphire tablet. Take. It's my sapphire tablet now. Thank you, uh, Rude. Appreciate that. Hey, Ariano. Bonjour. How are you? I... Oh, this is that little dungeon area, isn't it? Oh, I forgot about this area. Wow. Cold and necrotic. Uh, I kind of need that poison. Yeah, I need that poison. That sucks. Um... Oh, plus one to a racing strike and 12% increased void damage? Oh, I need to break that down. Oh, dude, I should be looking for this. Level of a racing strike. Nice. Nice. Okay, great. Hell yeah. What's up, bud? Lost Sapphire Nagasa. Are you Jura? Tornamancer Jura, the leader of the Temporal Sanctum. She has gone mad. Her experiments with the Eternity Cash have brought ruin to us all. Oh, I have a key for this, but I probably should not do this, right? I'm not going to do this right now. No. That's, that's dangerous. Um. Wait, what? There we go. Let's go back to here. Uh, hey, how do you like the loot so far? How fast do you find new items which improve your gear? In Diablo, every few hour I found new gear for my character, and that's way too fast. Oh, hi. Um, now, that's interesting. I You get new loot all the time, especially leveling oh, up. Yes. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not really sure. I, are, you saying, are you saying that getting new loot is too fast at the rate you get it in this game? Uh, where do you go? Here. He's trolling, surely? Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. I mean, he might be, but not necessarily. May I a smile upon you? Can I help you? Yeah. Now, now, wait. Are you talking about end game farming, or are you talking about like leveling? Because those are two completely different item acquisition rates. You know. Mm. When you're just leveling, you get new gear all the time. But when you get to end game, it's, it's far slower. Especially once you like have all your resists set up, and you know you need to find specific pieces for specific slots and things like that. Am I having fun with Ellie? Oh, big time! I'm yeah, loving it. Greetings. Howard tells me you found a hidden entrance to the cache to catch the Emperor off guard. Okay. Where where is the way station? We encounter the ancient waypoint devices. You have mined it to its sleeping body. It now lies helpless, paralyzed by their magic parasites. Jeez. This, this place be creepy, man. Creepy deepy. Uh, let's go ahead and get 6%. Let's just max that out. Let's max World Eater. And then we'll start working on uh, Finality. I don't know if I want anything from this tier. The haste seems okay, and the melee time rot chance I'm probably going to want to get. Oh, dude, this is actually great. Oh, this is great for us. So we got to get that for sure. Oh, that's good too. Future mind. Echo. Ch oh, all these are. Oh, damn, dude. All these are good. Increased health 2% per point. We can do 20% extra health with that. Good God. Huh. All right. Let's go. Did you get the green dire guana? I don't even know what that means, but it sounds kind of fun. But Seeking says chat, boo-woo. 
There we go. <laughs> Hellbrecht. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't even have those turned on here, Hellbrecht. <laughs> Hey, well, thanks, Tobrex. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to you. Welcome to you. Yeah, there's new drops today. There should be there should be new drops. You want those sweet LE drops? Yeah. Sneaky snacks in their little rudeness. Great. All right. So now we're going. Um, I think the vitality there. Let's go ahead and pop a point into that. We got anomaly now. Do I want to use Anomaly? That seems like such a weird skill. We do need a fifth skill. Anomaly no longer sends enemies forward in time. Effects that would be triggered when enemies return to the present are instead triggered immediately. Oh, it's a, it can become a stun. Anomaly last longer. You can also instant cast it. What is future strike? Is there anything we can do to re to debuff them? Oh, a hundred percent extra void damage. Anomaly leaves a time bubble for five seconds, which slows enemies and shreds their void resistance. Time Bubble grants you and your allies global health leech that is doubled for void damage. I think we might need to use this. Yeah. I think we might need to use this. I think we need immediacy. And we need to just turn this into a giant buff. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna turn this into a giant buff. All right, so we're gonna wait until the last specialization slot for that. I don't wanna drop Rive, because I'm using that a lot, especially since we're, it's one of our best ways to get mana back. Cool, all right, well, I, we're gonna give this a try, see if it works. Which game would you recommend playing more, Last Epoch or Pacific Drive? I can't answer that for you. That's that's all your personal preference. They're both great games. We're playing Pacific Drive this afternoon, so I'm obviously playing both, so my vote is both. But they're very different games. You're gonna get you're gonna get very different experiences from them. Thank you. 
It's, oh, by the way, there's some people on YouTube that are, and I, and I do appreciate this. It's coming from a great place. But there's people on YouTube that are like, does Ko realize that you can't make a build in this game and be viable on hardcore? Like, does he, does he realize that nothing he does is going to work in the end game and he's just going to get one shot? And for the record, I fully understand that. I, I, I'm, I'm equating this run right now to basically my first run of PoE where I just made a build. Um, I am not expecting to make it super far and frankly, I'm just having a great time playing it. So, you know, if I end up dying to a one shot later because my build's not great, whatever, I don't care. Just give me an opportunity to start a new guy if I'm still playing. So, yeah. Just wanted to let you guys under, just wanted to make sure it's understood that I, I understand I'm playing completely unoptimal. Yeah. But I'm also just fine with that. We good. But I do appreciate the nice folks that are trying to save me time. <laughs> so. But honestly, I mean, a lot of the fun in this game for me is kind of just... Like, the, the, the system is so much more intuitive than PoE that I kind of like being able to just theory craft and test stuff and see if something works and have an idea for a build and then work it out and see if it actually can be viable. I'm having a great time with this. Loving the journey. Oh, I got a haste shrine. It's like, why am I attacking so fast? This is sexy. Okay. Giraffe Hydra. That's incredibly dark, but it did make me chuckle, so I'm going to say it. <laughs> Giraffe Hydra says, Hey, Ko, I could use some good vibes today. I found out my wife only has three days to live. And I'm never going to see her again. I wish I could at least give her one last hug. But I'm not paying that ransom. <clears throat> not going to lie, you had me in the first half. Take a look. We haven't looked in here for a bit. Okay. I still stand by the fact that you should be able to assign an icon to your loot filters, and those icons should be in the top right of the items that qualify for that loot filter in your inventory. I think that's like a no-brainer update. I really hope they do that. I really do. Mm -mm. Basically an iconography. Yes, so what? So this this whole system right here is beautiful. This whole manage loot filter thing. What you should be able to do is click one of these and right down here, you should be able to pick an icon, like any icon, give them like 30 icons. And then whatever that icon is should show up on like the top right of the item in your inventory. So you know that item was picked up because it qualifies for that loot filter. And then if you mouse over the icon, it should like tell you what filter it is or something. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, okay, so do we have anything we want to use? We really got to keep an eye out for belts. We're not really doing any weapon stuff right now. We can break some more stuff down. Um, we definitely don't need void or physical, right? Yeah, void and physical are great. We do not need void or physical. Uh, I, think, uh, I think we're good. Yeah. That lightning's kind of nice, but I don't need dodge rate or anything. All right. We're going to sell for now. What level do you recommend making your own loot filter? Whenever it, it's, it's, it's kind of loot filtering is all depending on how comfortable you are with it. So for me, I made a loot filter for white items very early and then quickly converted that to blue items. And then when I decided that I was going to go Void Knight, at that point I know I needed more melee void damage, and so I set a filter for that. Then I started getting higher level and started taking a lot of damage because my resists sucked, so I made a loot filter for resists. So it's just it's just kind of on an as-needed basis. As you find gaps in your build from an equipment standpoint, start making filters. But really, you don't need to use a single filter if you don't want to. They're all optional. It's just It just depends on how you want to play. 
Some people like seeing every option they have and then, you know, deciding from there. Huh. 